Hey guys, it's just uh, time for our Tuesday e-blast, even though I'm doing this on Monday afternoon, so it'll probably go up tonight, but I'll email it out to, on Tuesday so that you all will see it. Uh, a quick word from the Word of God. It says, let the Word of Christ dwell in you uh, richly, with all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. Now that word there he talks about is encouraging each other with words and thanksgiving and encouragement. And then whatever we do, do it with all our heart for the glory of God. Uh, that's really a powerful word which we should do plant in our hearts every day. We just returned this last uh, this last week. We had our, our staff retreat where we laid out a lot of things for the fall and the spring of next year and make plans on into 2022. One thing became real obvious and evident that the more that I went through that and we talked and had meetings and discussions, a lot of prayer time was just the simple fact that you cannot build a church by yourself. A church is a body. It takes everybody. It takes all of us believing God together, growing together, praying together, witnessing together, attending together, giving together. It's not for one person to do this and another person to do that part and another person, although there are many gifts, we're all committed to do whatever we do hardly into the Lord. So I really want to encourage you to perhaps just do a personal inventory like, like we do at our staff retreat every year. We just inventory ourselves. So we do evaluations. Uh, I want to ask every member of Believers Fellowship, and even those who are not, who get this e-blast just to, for your own heart and your own life and your own church where you go, but to really examine your own hearts and just see where you are in your service and your praying and your giving, your attending, your sharing your faith. Just, just an overview, a quick discipleship check, so to say. And remember that what we do, we do with all our hearts, as he said, hardly as unto the Lord. The, the church at Believers Fellowship doesn't serve Pastor Gary, doesn't serve Pastor Tim, Pastor Joe, or anybody else around. We serve the Lord Jesus Christ, and we are here as one body to do all we can for the glory of God. These are these are days. These are difficult days. They're trying days. They're dark days. But remember, it's in the darkest night that any light will shine brighter. So let's let's shine for Jesus, and let's be what God called us to do. There is a lot going on. Uh, continue to, to pray for those who are who are in the hospital and who are sick that we have on our list that you begin the prayer request from. Wednesday night services are going to be awesome. You don't want to miss it. We begin uh, a series of pastors. Uh, our pastor series will start in at spring campus. Pastor Gary's doing this phenomenal in-depth uh, in insight into the harmony of the Gospels and how they relate to one another, the different authors, and how it connects. Boy, it's a really interesting. Uh, uh, you, you're not going to want to miss the harmony of the Gospels. Pastor Tim's going to be looking at the book of Revelation for a peek into the future, so you don't want to miss that. Now, Pastor Tim is on vacation, and rightly so, so be praying for him and Rebecca as they enjoy some time in Alaska. Uh, I will be speaking Wednesday night at the Magnolia campus. Now, they don't let me preach a lot on Wednesday nights anymore. Most of that's to our campus pastors. So uh, I'm looking forward to being there Wednesday night with you folks at the Magnolia campus and sharing a message that I have, kind of continuing some of the things we've been talking about in recent Sundays. And uh, when Christians disagree, how do we do that? Uh, how do we have unity? How do we have reconciliation when there is a disagreement? So we're going to be talking about that. You don't want to miss it. Be a good time of praise and worship fellowship at both campuses. And let's see what else we have here. Uh, back to church is coming up in, in September. Uh, the clothing drive is, is a week this coming up very soon. So look at our website to see all the dates and the things that are happening. You don't want to miss anything. But let me just go back to the book of Colossians. Whatever you do, do heartily unto the Lord. We serve the Lord. We do what we do for the Lord. We are disciples of Christ. Let's not forget that. We're not here for me. and We're not here for you, ultimately. We're here for the glory of God. We're here to love God. We love people. And we continue to reach the world. I'm excited about what God has coming up, so stay tuned. In the days ahead, we'll be talking about some of the things we're planning and the events, uh, activities, and schedules. So God is good. Keep praying. Let's believe God together for great things. Look forward to seeing you this week.